Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bitterman Studios, and in this video we're going to go over compute methods, or methods that are created at runtime. So, in the previous video we went over getters and setters, before that inheritance, before that classes, and before that we installed uh, Firefox so that we can run ECMAScript 6. So, uh, in this video we're just going to go over compute methods as a part of classes and see how they operate. So, Basically, what a compute method is, is a runtime method that is created based on the name of something. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, create a couple classes, check out how we can use a compute method, and uh, see, see what happens. So let's create a class named foo. So we're going to say class foo. We're going to create a constructor, constructor. Uh, we don't need anything in this constructor. It's just a dummy constructor here to, to look pretty. So we're going to create a compute method. To create one, we put square brackets, and we can do something like call plus me. So these are strings concatenated within the brackets to say this is the method name. And then we create the rest of the method as normal. So console.log, you called me. We can also do it off of variables. So let's say that we created a variable var uh, name or method name equals. Uh, we'll just say Brent because I can't think of anything else right now. Uh, so we'll put a square bracket method name in square bracket parentheses console dot log. Uh, we'll just put Ferris. So in order to call this, all we need to do is create an instance of the class and then call the method. So let's copy this, jump over to our nightly build of Firefox, paste it in. Should be undefined, meaning it was a success. Let's create an instance of foo, var lowercase foo equals new uppercase foo. Then we're going to say foo.callMe, which is the first method you called me. And then we can say foo dot uh, Brent, and you can see Ferris. So uh, we've created methods based on strings. One of them is on a variable. The other one is on strings. Uh, compute methods are pretty useful if you want to create classes at runtime that have custom functions, uh, probably based on uh, some kind of weird database value or whatever you have going on, um, and anything like that. So. Uh, you can create custom functions at runtime without hard coding the actual function name uh, using that. All right, so I had some kind of disruption. I've lost my train of thought, but I believe I was at the end of the video. Uh, so in the next video, we're going to go over um, some uh, built-in symbols and overriding the iterator. So how we can use a for loop, uh, a custom for loop. Um, on our classes. So I will see you in the next video and it's going to be pretty cool. It's uh, kind of it's kind of like an operator overload except we're over we're overloading the keyword to behave differently on a class. So uh, I'll see you in the next video. Um, until then, I'll talk to you later.